Hello everyone, this is Hina and welcome to another tutorial of Telenia Marketing and today I'm going to show you how can you use the Shape Builder tool uh, in Adobe Illustrator, very powerful tool that you can use to create different types of shapes and pictures by using your imagination and creativity. So let's start now with me. So first of all, what I'm going to do, I will take a simple ellipse here and dragging an ellipse like this and uh, here you can see that the fill color is off right now and the stroke is around uh, four points so it will be look like this and here i'm going to create a copy of this first concept is merging you can merge the shapes together there is also the another tool for that but here is the shape builder tool that we are discussing so i'm going to use this one this one uh, you can also press shift tab from your keyboard to intact this so here i'm just merging the shapes so it will become one now so what i have done this is the region one region two region three and then i will collectively select all these then it will become region one so this is the concept of merging in another option that you can use is extracting the shape so for extracting this is the region one region two and region three i have independently uh, selected and now what i'm going to do i will simply giving uh, giving it a fill color and now detaching it so you can see these are the separate shapes so this is the concept of extracting as well so you can also eliminate it uh, or whatever you want to do so these are the two concepts by using these two concepts we can define so many shapes and pictures so let's start now I, I want to share a few ideas with you so first of all what I'm going to do I will to take this ellipse just by using a simple ellipse you can define various shapes and pictures so you can see that here are the two parallel circles and now aligning it in the middle turning off this full color now and here taking a copy of this press ctrl c and ctrl f and dragging it to the right direction so it will be look like this now select everything together and using this shape builder tool i am selecting this one this area and here is the another area here i'm selecting this one and this one so these are the two areas that we have created actually what i wanted to do here i i want to making an interlocking effect there so it will be look like that that the two circles are connecting with each other interlinked with each other so let's see how it comes out so now I'm going to fill it, select everything together. Now going to fill it uh, with the color so it will be more recognizable. And here giving it a simple yellow color. And here using this, because I want to remove this, uh, remove this area. So I will simply remove it like this. And you can see how it will be look like now. But uh, here I'm using this default color and turning off this uh, stroke so it will be look like this here you could to make it more smooth i'm changing the position of the gradients here like this and in the same way taking this one here you can see these two need to be connected together like this so it will be look like this so you can see that how the design is looking like now it seems like that one ring is a, is a, a linked into another ring so uh, these type of things that i want to show here so another concept that i want to create here i'm simply taking uh, ellipse again and dragging three consecutive circles like this and now what i'm going to do is simply removing this fill color from here and giving it a black uh, with the stroke weight is around five points so it will be more recognizable and now uh, keep it, aligning it in the middle and center so it will be look like this and now what i'm going to do i will take the middle uh, circle and aligning it the smaller one with the top of the smaller one and now now it need to be linked with the bigger one so you can see how it will be look like now make sure there should not be any gap otherwise uh, we will not be able to create the desired shape here now what i'm going to do i will take a copy of this and aligning it to the 
in this way, dragging it to the right. And now the bigger one should be connected with the smaller one of the first one. So it should be look like this now. And now what I'm going to do, I will select all these shapes together and scaling uh, a bit down. and rotate it with the 90 degree angle like this and now select the second shape and uh, uh, just uh, reflect it on the left side like this so what i'm going to do now simply taking this uh, shape builder tool from here you can also press shift tab uh, from your keyboard uh, to interact it and here i'm defining the shape like this simply like this here and so here you can see how the shape is forming. So select everything together and giving it a color, taking the default color again and now removing it from the middle, deselect it, remove from the middle and this one and this region. I want to give it a different, uh, you know, gradient positions. So it will be look like this now and here removing the stroke from here. So it should be look like this. So these are the things that I wanted to show here and see that these are the shapes that we can design just by using this shape builder tool. So very easy to do and it depends upon your imagination. How are you visualizing and how are you creating shapes and pictures? Thank you so much for watching. If you like my tutorial, then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Have a very good day. Bye bye.